Cristo. you'd take me there again someday but you never did I got a letter the name on the envelope said Mary Mary died of that damn disease three years ago got there none of your business you didn't love mary anyway what 
Hey, wait! How do you know her name? Where did she go? I don't know. Let's look around. This place feels so empty. More than the other places we've been.
Laura, why do you keep running away from me? And how do you know about Mary? Mary's my friend. We met at the hospital last year. Stop lying! Laura, I, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Fine! Don't believe me! See if I care! Hey! Let go! I'm sorry, Laura, but I can't let you just run around this place. You might get hurt. Hurt by what? Look, just... Stay with me, okay? This is no place for a kid. Fine. But... There's something I've got to get. Laura... It's important. What is it? A letter. For Mary. What? I hid it. In there. You sure this is where you left it? It's in the back, behind an old pipe. Okay, well, wait here. Ha <laughs> Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Do ya? Let me out of here, you little brat! In your dreams, fart face. Please open the door. There's something in here. Sure there is. A big lying fart face. See a fart face! Laura! Laura! Excuse me. I'm sorry. I, I was just... It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for Silent Hill. I think you should stay away. This town, there's something wrong with it. Is it dangerous? Maybe. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. I guess I don't really care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going either way. No, you shouldn't be here. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please.
Could she really be here, waiting for me? Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. So I'm Luke Roberts and I'm playing James Sunderland in the remake of Silent Hill 2. My name is Sarah Mugunastatir and I play Mary slash Maria. When you're playing an iconic character such as James Sunderland, you obviously have to respect the original. When playing these characters in this game, the thing that I paid most attention to was the original game. So he is not um, an action hero by any means. Um, he is just a guy who is a little lost at the top of this game and uh, in, in a sense of um, he, he is to, to a greater extent in a, in a bewildered state um, so it's very interesting um, charting his his journey this one we're trying to honor something that's already been made and so it's not me creating something it's me channeling something the tone of this game is very important and the team at Bluebird were very keen to create an incredible atmosphere um, f for, the, uh, for the gamers. I do believe that this will be trying its very best to capture and recapture the atmosphere, the vibe and the story and sometimes like the literal words and moments of the original. I'm very excited for people to play this game. There's no one aspect that I could say that I'm, I want people to experience because I want people to experience all of it. It's such a journey. It's such a big part of our lives and I just want people to be able to see it. I think the biggest challenge that we've had was actually how to make the game approachable for the newcomers who have not played the original, but at the same time to still retain the familiarity of the, of the game that the player remembers from 20 years ago. Our goal from the very beginning was to maintain the game's atmosphere while modernizing the gameplay to make it competitive in 2024. In the remake, the story remains largely the same. However, with the magic of modern technology, we were able to expand on some of its aspects. The hardest was designing combat. We want to be as faithful as possible uh, to the original game, but also we want players to feel satisfaction while playing 
uh, remembering that uh, we need to fit in horror genre standards. So when making a game with static cameras, you as a designer have much more control over what players see, where they go and so on. The change for the third person perspective was a challenge. That being said, it's a chance for us to expand this world, to show the players new elements that were previously inaccessible and just make this game richer. Well, the main thing that requires rethinking was the fog because it was called classic in the original game and be the veil that covers the world and, and uh, makes the player to feel even more isolated. New technologies gives us a chance to do things that were not possible during the earlier generations of video games. For narrative, this is very visible in facial expressions. We can tell so much through just the subtle changes on characters' faces. The presented gameplay footage shows a fragment of the city from the beginning of the game and sections in Brookhaven Hospital. The fight against monsters is prepared in a more tactical form and it's mainly based on the varied designs of the enemies. James is not used to fighting, so his arsenal of attacks is limited. Adapting your approach to a situation will be the key to success. However, your playing style, among other things, determines what ending